In this Excel video, I'm going to construct an ogive. So I've constructed a frequency distribution. If you want to learn how I did this, I have a previous video on doing so um, called Constructing Frequency Distribution, I believe. Um, and so I've, I've taken raw data that I have over here in column A, and I've constructed it into some grouped data um, with a frequency distribution. So from here, I can do some graphs, one of which is an ogive. So I'm going to show you how to do that. An ogive is a line graph of the cumulative frequency. So I'm going to um, highlight my cumulative frequencies because that's what I want the line graph of and just simply insert a line graph. Okay, so that's what this right here line. We just want this first one because it's just one set of data. And there's the, the start of an, our, our ogive. Um, so a few problems here. One is that nothing is labeled, so let's fix that first. So let's title this as our MPG ogive. Because we want our readers to, to know what our graph is, of course, graphing. Title our axes. Our horizontal axis is just our um, variable name, which is here, it's the, the MPGs. And then our vertical axis is our, in this case for a ogive, it's a cumulative frequency. Okay. All right, so there's our labels. Okay, the other problem here is that our line does not start at zero. Ogives always start um, at the bottom connecting to our horizontal axis with a zero. Um, and so to change that, what I can do is add a um, row here with a cumulative frequency of zero. So I'm just going to go over here and insert a row. And I have a cumulative frequency of zero. And what what's really going on here is that there is a class right before this first class um, where our data begins that ends in a 9.5 and has a cumulative frequency of zero. Okay, it's borrowing that formatting from the cells above, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna format it with a right there. Okay, um, and then I can click on this and then just drag so that it'll include that zero. Okay, so now my graph is starting at zero. Okay. And finally, the last thing we need to fix is this horizontal axis labels. In an ogive, they should be labeled with our upper class boundaries. The temptation sometimes is to highlight both the upper class boundaries and the cumulative frequencies, um, but if you do that, it'll just graph them separately. What we want it to do is only the cumulative frequencies and the horizontal labels are our upper class boundaries. Okay, so right click on your axis down here, choose select data horizontal axis labels, okay, and then they are should be your upper class boundaries. So I will select those, okay. So there is your ogive.